Hello everyone, my name is Silverweed and welcome back to School of Dragons. Today I'm going to address something I haven't really talked about at all, even though it's been around for a while. I'm going to talk about the dragon armor that you can get for your viking, because there are certain sets of dragon armor you can get. There is four in total, I think, by now, and they're really cool, so I'm just going to showcase them real quick for you so you can see what they look like. And we're going to talk about how I feel about them. And what I think is cool about them. So first we have the Death Song Armor. This is the newest one, which basically just got released. Uh, looks really cool. This is the full set that they released. Normally they release them like in two parts. First like two pieces and the last pieces comes after. But this one was released all together. It kind of has this bronze look, which is also what they described it as. Death Song Bronze Armor. Uh, I don't know if that's going to make a silver or gold Death Song too. Uh, I don't think so. But just this looks really cool. I love the wings. They're absolutely amazing. I think this one is one of my favorites. Uh, it doesn't really have that bright colors compared to it like being a death song when you take that into account. But I think it's really really cool too. I really very much like it. So here we have it up close where we can really get a good look at it. Uh, as you can see, very cool. It has a lot of different textures. It has small scales down by the boots. And it looks really cool. It looks like it has the death song theme, but it also has like that classic like Viking warrior kind of feel to it. So it's kind of like uh, you get a little bit from both worlds, I would say, uh, which which, you can, which is nice. I would have loved some more color on it, but for what it is, I think it's cool. So this is the Screaming Death, which is really cool too. I love the red. The red really is strong in this one. I love the shoulder plates. The mask, I'm not that big of a fan of. I think it's really bulky, like on your face. Uh, it doesn't look too good. I think it's it's okay, but it doesn't really have much to do with a screaming death in the first place. Uh, but it's not like I don't like it. I think it's fairly cool. Uh, the colors are amazing, and I could definitely see myself use this armor or use it combined with some of the other armors uh, because it's really really cool. Okay, and here we have the squirrel armor, which is probably the more dark one. Uh, I like this armor, I like the color, it was my favorite for a very long time because it has all those spikes on the mask and the big horn in the middle of it and the teeth are just amazing, it looks really really evil and these pads, shoulder pads are amazing because it kind of looks like fur uh, that's sticking out of them which looks really really cool, it's very very sweet but it looks very legendary I would say because these shoulder pads look like a legendary warrior that's ready to battle the only thing that's bad about this is that on the male character, on the male body, this down here has this white uh, white bottom because they didn't render it completely, so it has this, uh, this kind of it's like a lot, it's like a texture that didn't get removed. It's like the modeling that didn't get removed because it's this like torn thing. You would have to model it correctly, like cut that out, that make make it invisible. And they didn't do that, so it kind of looks really strange when it's like that. I don't think it's like this on the female body, which is good, but it does have this on the male body, and it kind of is like dragging it down for me at least uh, but I love these like straps also going over his body over his chest up here looks really really cool looks very good the only thing is that white thing it kind of breaks with the entire feeling of it which sucks I mean that's that's really bad and in case I mean a lot of people have been asking me this why I am a male viking uh, because a lot of people were wondering so if if you're new to this channel you probably don't know that I got hacked my account got hacked once and what the hacker did was she he slash she took all my things, all that stuff, but she also changed my viking into a male. Uh, so I have the female head, but I do not have um, the female body, uh, as you can see. Uh, I, I like to think of it as, as you can see, it's a female head, it's the male hair and the male body. Uh, <laughs> which is really, really strange. Uh, but I like to think of it as battle scars from the hacking incident, that this is the scars, this is the visible scars I'm carrying from that hacking incident. So here we have the Deathly Nada outfit. Uh, this one is, was one of my favorite for a very long time. I love the eyes that you have on the mask, the actual Deathly Nada eyes, and the spikes of course, the texture is really good. The wings are amazing, and I like it because it's so colorful. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about this. Uh, the boots are, are a bit bulky, I would say, but still they work with, with what they have going on. Um, the only thing that I can point out about this armor is that this, the belt down here has the crest 
of the Tracker class, also previously known as the Fear class. And how does that make sense with a Deadly Nada? Oh, because the Deadly Nada was moved from the Sharp class to a Tracker class. Wow. I still don't like that. I still don't like that. I mean, the Sharp class has the Deadly Nada as their freaking symbol. Like the, 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 the thing, the mark, the, the thing that characterizes the entire class has a Deadly Nada and the Deadly Nada is not in the Sharp class. I don't like that. But then it makes sense with the crest. I still don't like it, but then it makes sense. And I definitely think this costume, this armor, dragon armor, is one of the best because it's so colorful. I would really look forward to see if they do it with more dragons. This is all there is for now. There's only these four. I think they look really cool and it's really nice. You can get some new outfits and kind of put them together in different ways if you want that. And you can customize your Viking a little bit better. I really think it looks cool and it's a great uh, it's a step in a good direction. So I definitely I love these armors. So I just want to show them to show share. I just want to showcase them real quick for you guys in case some of you couldn't afford them or haven't seen them yet. And um, we just got the new death 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 song armor. Not the banana, that's the one we have on. The death song armor. And I just want to show you quickly, and I just did. So I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to leave a comment which one is your favorite, if you have any of them, if you want to buy any of them, anything you have to say, just go ahead, the comment section is right there. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. So long, Dragon Riders!